welcome to savvy it solutions now previously we are making two videos on operators theoretically now we are doing practically in this videos so we are making four videos on operators the first three operators arithmetic operator relational operator and logical operators one video and uh, assignment and increment by decrement operators in second video and uh, conditional operator one more video and bitwise operator fourth video so we need to cover all the things in a way so here we are using um, we are implementing through c programming we are using turbo c++ compiler okay waiting for opening the compiler so it opens and now i need to write the program as include standard input output header file console input output header file so here i need to define three variables int a comma b comma c and here we need to read the values of a and b so enter them always we need to slash in it will give some more enter the value of a scan of percentage d comma address of a again we need to read the second value enter the value of b scan of percentage d after reading it we need to perform all the arithmetic operations always we need to use slash n comma c similarly c is equal to a minus b comma c c is equal to a into b slash n division sorry multiplication percentage d comma c and c is equal to a by b print f slash n division c c is equal to a mod b so print f slash n reminder percentage d comma c so after compiling it one warning is function should return a value so right. so the error is that so while running it I am giving the value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 automatically the values will come so this is the way we are running the 
we are performing the arithmetic operations in the programming okay again we take we need to go for relational operators program so we need to save as RELOP hash include standard input output header file hash include conio.h wide main so here also we define two variables they are int a comma b next is we need to read the values of a and b enter the value of a scan of percentage d now we need to read the second value the value of b scan of m percent v so after this after this we need to check if a greater than b so we need to print percentage d is greater than percentage d a comma b so the next one is if a greater than equal to b print f percentage d is greater than equal to percentage d a comma b if a less than b print f percentage d is less than percentage d a comma b if a less than equal to b percentage d percentage d is less than equal to percentage d a comma b if a equal to b percentage d is equal to percentage d a comma b if a not equal to b percentage d is not equal to percentage d a comma b so this is the way we are checking the conditions no errors we are comparing it a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 always it satisfies three conditions so i will give slash hence then you will get the clarity okay always keep on giving slash hence for new line if required if not required no need to use slash n for making it okay but our clarity we need to make easily so 10 and 20 i already mentioned that it satisfies three conditions 
now again I need to take different values like 20 and 10 so no greater than relations will come so now I will try to give equal values it gives three conditions okay that is what exactly so the next one is logical operators okay so save as logic op so as include standard input output header file as include conio dot h wide main in the above we need to define three variables a b c we need to read three values so I, you can also read all the variables in single line but for our uh, flexibility I am reading individually in the latter sections we need to explain you how in single line how we are reading three variables three uh, more than one variable okay so here for the clear vision uh, we are giving in a separately okay that is not an issue over a period we will give the maximum idea how we can assign more variables at single point of contact okay enter the value of So after reading this, I am checking one condition that is end relation A greater than B and A greater than C. If this is true, we need to print the message that both the relations are true. Then only this will be coming. Okay. So always I need to do slash n so the next statement if simple instead of e end I am putting r symbol nothing more in between so it means that both the relations are any one of the relation are true that is what exactly so the finally not a greater than b so the relation true will be indicated false okay. now I compile this program no errors now I am running it I will take 10 20 and 30 the relation the relation true will be false so the last will be executed so uh, small spelling mistakes are there so while I am typing fast automatically it will comes okay. so now I will give in a reverse order so 30 20 and 10 so here two conditions will be true so for a chain I also give first one is 30 second one is 10 and third one 30. so it says if maximum things
थैंक यू